Hello, y'all. I'm Lucy, and I want to show you how to make these adorable little gifts. These little, uh, little mason jar toppers or little jar toppers, so you can give a little gift that is just so cute. Anyone will enjoy it. Alley Cat, you will have to go. Excuse me. I just want to show you how easy it is. There are six different designs in the file. It's probably my favorite. The little Swiss chalet. There is a tiny house. I love this little tiny house. There's a bird house. I didn't put this one on the jar yet. The only problem with the bird house is trying to find tiny birds. They're, they can be elusive. And then there is a little tiny paper barn you can use. And finally, I haven't glued this one on yet, but a church, a little miniature church and a cottage that you can use. And then I string them, I add a little string so that if somebody wants to use them as an ornament afterwards, they can. But these are the main parts for the simplest one, the little house, and I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. I've got the file available as a PDF file, as well as a SVG cut file. I cut mine out with my Cricut Maker. You can use a Cricut Explorer 2 if you have a scoring stylus or other cutting machines, just you just have to be able to designate the score lines. So I'm folding along all the score lines before I glue on my little decorations. There. I'm using Barely Art Glue. It is thin, it dries fast, and it adheres very well. And I know I should probably, you know, use a toothpick or something, but I just never do it. I just always just squirt it on and use my fingers. And as you can see, it makes a little mess, but it doesn't matter much. Uh, put glue on the non-glitter side. You can cut out about, uh, for some, for the chalet, you can probably only get two on a piece of, for uh, two of the base color um, on each piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. But for this one, you can probably get three or four. And then use a contrasting color for windows and the roof. And so you hardly use any cardstock at all for these cute little ornament jar toppers, mason jar toppers. And I printed up a sheet for you that includes the sizes of mason jar tops. Let me see. So baby food jar is about two inches. The inner diameter of a regular mason jar is 2.375, etc. So you've got that in the PDF file, the printable file, for making these ornaments, these um, little gifts. And this um, circle doesn't line up exactly right, I've fixed it on your file. I didn't notice it until I'd made it a couple of times. I'm like, that's not right, but it's fixed. And this is the back hole. So if you want to uh, shine a light through or put it in front of a light, if it's hanging on a tree, you can do that. And then this is the little chimney. And I just draw in the lines with, um, with a white uniball gel pen. I love that pen. I think I've got one here. Yeah, I love this pen. Uniball Signal. Sig Signo. Uniball Signo. You can see I decorated the birdhouse. I just drew a bunch of little designs on it. It's just fun. I did this wrong. This should be the outer side, but it, it doesn't matter much. It's a little tiny chimney. Okay, we'll let that dry. 
and we've got the little house decorated so now I'll show you how to construct it this is a side glue tab I just think it's so easy to control the the barely art glue so I didn't fold along that one okay glue there all right these pieces I call everybody thinks they're supposed to be the roof but they're not they're really the support for the roof and really support for the whole house I call them roof flaps and they go under these you these roof tabs and help hold the the um, house straight so if they weren't there this part flexes some so the roof tabs roof flaps rather help with the structure of the house apply a little glue or a lot of glue like I usually do I have to order glue fairly frequently but that part of that's because I make a lot of prototypes and I you know, like, oh yeah, that one's a little crooked. I gotta redo that one. Oh yeah. So, then make sure that it looks like a rectangle. And it does. Sometimes they get a little skewed. You know, they get a little twisted like that, but this one's pretty good. This is 65 pound cardstock. You can use 65 up to 110 pound cardstock. You could use watercolor paper if you want. There's some heavy watercolor paper that's really nice, and then you could draw designs on it. I think that would be fun. Now, the roof has one score line in it as well. Let's just squish that in place. Once again, you want it to be straight. You want the overhangs to be equal on both sides that's the whole structure of the house now my chimney came apart to apply the chimney i just apply glue i just apply glue along here and then stick it on the house um i'm just going to wait to do that only because the um the chimney, um, the roof isn't fully adhered, and I don't want it shifting while I'm trying to put the put the uh, chimney on. Okay, so that's the little house. And again, let me show you Swiss Chalet, the little house, the bird house, the cottage, the barn. Is that six? Yes, that's six. So anyway, I hope you'll have fun making these. I just think they make great little gifts. I like these little um, jars. It's just fun to fill them up, but you can use bigger jars and, you know, decorate them with ribbons and little baubles. And, oh, another thing you can do, let me move these out of the way, is instead of putting them on jars, if you have big enough jars, like this is, I think, a salsa jar. Salsa is one of my favorite foods. And I just put Epsom salts at the bottom, and then I put the church inside. So that works. Here's another one. It's kind of hard to show you. But this is the little cottage. And this is a pickle jar. I always buy big pickle jars because I'm like, oh, my little houses will fit inside. So anyway, just some little quick fun little Christmas crafts, crafts, Christmas crafts. So um, anyway, Christmas crafts for you already. I hope you'll have a good day. Bye.